So we spoke about Kel Brook, didn't we? Against Amir Khan. Is it going to happen? Who cares? Who cares? I think it will happen. Because the brass, the brass neck on these people now is off the charts. Everybody in the area knows it's off the charts. All the fighters, all the trainers, all the managers, all the seconds, all the amateur setup, all the promoters in the area, they know Kel Brook against Amir Khan is off the charts. They know that. They know. They know that. So... Are we going to see it? I think we will. They can't help themselves, can they? If they could put Dillian White Parker on, they'll put Kel Brook Khan on. But, but Dillian White Parker was well, worth the money, wasn't it? It were a right tear up, wasn't it? So I got that wrong. Hold me hand up, got that wrong. But this is because we've all been told a certain criteria is what's needed to get pay per view, haven't we? We've all been told it's a certain criteria. Now, on Eddie's shift, they've gone up from 15 quid to 25 on pay per view. Is there too many pay-per-view fights? What do you, the fans, think? What do you, the fans, think about StubHub? I mean, come on, give me some feedback here. Give me some feedback. What do you think about StubHub? What do you think about getting your Anthony Joshua ticket that's 200 quid, but you got to pay 300? Because Eddie's give all the tickets to StubHub. How do you think they sell out in five minutes? Or, what, what it's four minutes 40 or something? Like I said earlier on in, in week, Eddie's got 12 of the top 25 everyway. 12. And the other 20, the other 13 he wants to work with. So... God, that sun's blinding me. Uh, Jacobs, Andrade, Canelo, Triple G, Billy Joe. What are them lot doing? Most of them are at the zone, aren't they? Jacobs, Andrade, Canelo, Triple G and Billy Joe all Dazone fighters but they're not fighting each other Will we made an offer to Charlo? What? Charlo? Career like middle These YouTube fighters, what's happening with them? Jacob, Paul, Logan, Paul, KSI Fred Gibb or whatever his name is Blib, Blob, Fred Gibb, Blob, whatever I don't know you can't fight. You know, we spoke about the PED issues, haven't we? We spoke about the sad death of Patrick Day and... You know, when fighters die, it's awful. That's why they always need paying well, but... There's got to be a balance. You can't be crying after Patrick Day died, crocodile tears and then putting PED cheats on a week later. I'm just shrugging it off. Refusing press passes for YouTubers, Eddie Earn. Crimes against boxing. You can't have a press pass. You said you are you were asking questions about Stubble or about my dad Barry Hearn being in Jeffrey Epstein's book. Naughty naughty Bazza. Come on, come and tell us what's going on, Baz. Come on. Have you been naughty? Or have you been investing money? Either way, you're silent. If you're investing money, come out and say it. No good waiting for a knock at door. So, can, hey, listen, they mentioned it on Fox TV, didn't they? I don't see Barry Earns suing Fox TV. You can sue me if you want. I ain't got no. Uh, Joshua, New York, Saudi. You know, what next? Is he going to fight abroad or England? They're going to come back to England, aren't they? They're going to fight on back foot against Poole effort. Probably Wembley or Tottenham Hotspur. Dillian White, fifth pay-per-view next. Who cares? I care. I like his trainer a lot. I respect the Tibbs family. But Dillian's his own manager, isn't he? He's, he's advising himself. So, if he can keep getting millions of pounds out of fans, for fighting substandard opponents, why should he fight Joshua or Wilder? He can get them at the end of his career. 
when he's got about 40 or 50 million in bank. He'll be laughing at all us then. He'll go, so what? I didn't get a world title. Him and Del Boy will be sat there, won't they, on a the beach, laughing. Laughing at us all. Like David A and Bell you do when they're in the green room at the sky, they laugh at us. <laughs> all them bad things they said about each other, and yet they're having a go at our Umar. David A and Bell you said all that, and then they were hugging each, hugging each other. They set the tone, Umar follows it, but he loses his job. Take him to a tribunal, Umar. Grow a pair. Why don't Dillian White ever mention Joe Joyce or Daniel DeBar? Well, he's not, he's not going to do, is he, because the 50 50s. Uh, has Joshua been wrapped in cotton wool? Logan Paul, Jake Paul, who are these guys? Who are these guys? That's true enough, isn't it? Who are they? Yeah, who are they? Turned up with his mother, didn't he, that Logan Paul? The PR horse, that's all they are. Lena, you're going in, sweetheart. Look at this here, average speed limit job. Jesus, forgot about that. <laughs> Paul right to the left in one mile. <laughs> Breaking down to 30 from 70. Leave it on. Uh, well, I told everybody, didn't I, that Luke Keeler would get knocked out against Andrade. I hope you had your, hope you had your money on it. Daz own USA, Sky. UK, IFL, the glue that holds him together. ES, I think we spoke about that. EIS McCracken, he's the conveyor belt, isn't he? Just like Mick Wales, the conveyor belt for Dennis now, isn't it? But you've got to understand Please that. Please take the next exit toward Leeds. You've got to understand that uh, Mick Wales, not. Uh, like them up there at EIS and he's doing nothing wrong. They're taking millions of pounds of funding, lottery funded business. What was Mick Whale taking? They're taking no. They do it for love of boxing, don't they? Mick and Josh and, and, and Dempsey and them, that gym that they run there with Sean and them, they do it for love of boxing. Not like McCracken and them. He's taking 150 grand a year, plus he's taking two big fat checks off Joshua and all perks in between, flying all over the world. Living in Royal Family's headquarters in Saudi. Exit left. Got it made, haven't they? Tyson Fury, is he playing with us, saying that Most McGregor's right training him? Yards, yeah, he's just. Keep right oh. toward the north and then take the third exit. Tyson. Roundabout. Tyson couldn't lie straight in bed, could he? Let's have it now, right. Now, keep right. Let's have it right, man. They jump out of his mouth, don't they? Everything, everything's PR based, isn't it? Everything's PR based. Did you say go right here? Did he brought down him. So, it's one of them things, isn't it? There's not what you can do. Uh, fights I want to see. Uh, I want to see Saunders Benavitez. Saunders Truax, Saunders against any of the Dirrell brothers, Saunders against Eubank rematch, Saunders against the Charlo brothers, Smith against Benavitez, Smith against Bivol, Bivol will fight him at 168 or a catchweight 170, Smith against Baterbia 175, step up. Eddie Hearn said that Callan Smith could win belts all the way up to heavyweight because he's six foot four. Well, step up seven pound then. You don't have to step up. 32 pound plus, just step up seven. Because you said he could step up over 32 pound. We just want you to step up seven. Fight Baterbia. Yvonne Michelle's told Please people that we know that they take the Callum Smith fight. Bob Aram says he'd take it. How's about that, Tesco Joe? I know you're watching, old Tesco. Bob Aram says that Baterbia would take it. So why not? Why not take it? Hey, why not? Not gonna do ours. Not gonna take it. I'm sure I should be down there. Now exit the roundabout. See, I always get confused when I get to this one in Leeds. Is it that one? North Leeds. Move to the left in one mile. I might have done it. I might have done it. I might have made it. 
Uh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, sorry. Getting back to that. Callum Smith. Right, let me tell you, Callum Smith. He's been wrapped in cotton wool. They forced George Groves to have that fight, you know, in Jeddah. They forced him. And another month would have made a big difference for George Groves, you know. They forced that lad into it. Because they wanted an edge. I mean, they were doing well, Groves. A full fit, a fully fit Groves would have won that fight. Keep saying that Callum Smith's this ice man and that he's better than Carl Froch and this and that. Well, keep who's he fighting? Who is he fighting, Hassan and Dam? John Ryder beat him up. It's got to be the John Ryder rematch before anything. So I said that would happen this May, May, June, and it will. IFL in house media. Is it now becoming so obvious? What do the hardcore fans think? Well, what do you think? Is it in-house media or what? Don't forget, all these videos are not edited. Just seeing it as we see it. Is it in-house media? Yes, it is. Saudi Arabia, how do the fans feel? It's not just about me ranting and raving, screaming and shouting. How do the fans feel, right, about Eddie Earn taking fighters out to fight in Saudi and the fans can't afford to go watch these fighters and we all can't just keep pulling three grand up twice a year to go watch Joshua in Saudi or New York do they care about the fans? they don't care they don't care and that's why they might just not fight in England because I don't think I don't think they really think the fans are behind Joshua now I don't know it, there's just something not right about it. They, they went to New York, didn't they? They panicked when Dillian didn't want to fight at Wembley. Why didn't they put somebody else on at Wembley? They had arena books. Something just not right. Now, this season Sky are looking at doing a minimum of six, maximum of eight pay-per-view. BT are looking at doing four pay-per-views. Four. To be fair to Frank Warren, he's not kicked arse out of him with pay-per-view, but he did at Sky, didn't he? Uh, do you notice I'm not giving no opinion on anything as according to some fighters I'm a hater, jealous and bitter, so what? We can tell it straight aren't we? Are boxers insecure? Some of them are. Is Kell Brook and Scott Quigg headline in a Liberty? Is it recycled rubbish? Yeah it is. Well, Kell Brook's been missing ages hasn't he? As for Scott Quigg, you not fought in England, has he, for three years? Come on! Scott Quigg fought in England for three years ago. I always feel like I've got a, a punch when I'm on this road in Leeds. I might have to pull up. I can hear some of them. I like a while, huh? Uh, is the money all flowing one way in boxing? Yeah, Joshua in Eddie Hearn's way. Should Eddie be allowed? To have the pick of Olympians, the, the lottery funded setup in the EIS. Best film of the year I've seen Queen and Slim. Queen and Slim is the best film I've seen this year. Queen and Slim. Oh. That's the best film I've seen. Just pull up here. No, I'm not going to throw that rubbish out because it's all cambered up round here. It's all cambered up to death. <laughs> I don't want to dance. Dance with your baby no more. Never the sun hurt you so. Stick it in sport and get off this motorway before I end up having a bomb. Here, I? Yes, 
messing about with this stuff. Videos, I mean. I was trying to fit something in, aren't I? I'm seeing him there, 420. He's beating me here. Take the next exit onto the A6120. That's for you guys, it works on. <laughs> Back on that fucking road, I don't like this road. You need to get roads sorted round here, man. I'm telling you. It's like your car's falling to bits, isn't it, when you come to Leeds? mile to go. Please take the first exit at the roundabout onto the A6120. Leeds is the only place. Now exit the roundabout. Leeds is the only place in it where you can get confused and you live here. You could live in Please Leeds and get take confused. the third exit at the square onto the A6120. So... Now take the third exit. Third exit? I'm going here. KFC, I wish I could. I love a, a Zinger Burger. I used to eat them for fun in my younger days. Old Zinger Burgers. One, two. It's airport, that one. It's got to be this one, isn't it? Third one, yeah. So I think that's about it really. Take the fifth exit at the square so, onto the A612. So that's about it. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic, fantastic sport. And I'm still the voice of hardcore boxing. Just letting you know all your people who are watching in gyms. <laughs> I've got a long way now, I think. What can you do? So shout out Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging. Peace out.